Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. I just lit my fall candle here and I thought we'd do some junk journal play today. This is a brand new junk journal. Um, this is the way that I make the ones that I sell. Now, the ones that I sell, they will have a charm on the side and there's usually two decorated paper clips and then there's envelopes in here and the envelopes get filled with goodies and then I clip on stuff where the paper clips are and these are the ones I sell at my show shows and the reason is because there's they're they're pretty basic there's no uh, tucks or pockets or or I mean, there's envelopes, but there's not like, it's not very interactive. Like you don't need to know to look for stuff because most of my, uh, most of my, the people who buy my journals have never done one before or have done them this way and like this format. So when I made a bunch that I'm uh, putting away for my Christmas shows to sell, I made myself one because I finished my last one and I believe I have a video of it. If I can find it, I will link it um, in the end card because I think I have a video of my, <coughs> excuse me, flip through of the last junk journal I actually finished. And just real quick, other, uh, like my glue books, like my, my nature one that I have this one here. This one I consider more a glue book because I'm just like gluing in stuff that I like, pictures I like and stuff like that. Whereas a junk journal to me is, okay, this is my little bin and you can see I need to get junk journaling. Look how full, I mean, I'm pressing down and this is full here. This is, this is like stuff I've done, like putting receipts and stuff like that, as well as artwork and, you know, incorporating all kinds of stuff. But this has more like a, of a personal little history with it. So what, um, I'm just going to go ahead and play. And what I have here are the ticket stubs for the, uh, fair. I'm not going to do this front page and I'm, see, I haven't decorated the covers on the ones that I sell. I do decorate the covers. Um, and they're really cute. But I'm just going to go ahead, and the other thing with my junk journals, I know some people do them in chronological order, and you, uh, they put pictures in, and so on and so forth. I don't. Um, I don't tend to take pictures. Well, I do, but I don't print them out. And so um, I um, don't put pictures in my junk journal, you know, personal pictures, and I don't work chronologically. Okay, so this is perfect. So see this little page here has this mom and baby sheep. These are uh, Nora Jane, whoops, Nora Jane stamps, these little peg stamps. My friend and I ordered some. Well, she ordered some and she wanted to some, uh, she didn't reach $35 for free shipping, so I bought some too. So the Highland County Fair, these are my ticket stubs from the fair, which was, oh my gosh, so fun. So I think I'm going to put those on this page here. But um, I want to look and see if there's anything else that might go in here. I have this Earl Grey decaf. Oh, okay. This, okay. See, now this little tea, tea bag um, tab thing, 9822. Queen Elizabeth II passed away. I, I had a, a cup of Earl Grey in her honor that day. Um, so I'm just going to go real quick and take a look at what might be in here that I also want to stick on here. Now sometimes, especially since this is a... There's a 50-50. I don't know where that came from. Um, sometimes because it's just a complete blank book, what uh, you may want to do is to just put some stuff down like... Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll show you that. Okay, we're going to put this aside. We may not even get to that today. Um, is to get some stuff on the paper. Now, I do have a few little stamps, you know, on there or whatever. But I have this roll. I have many, many rolls, like most of us do, of wrapping paper. But it's almost like tissue. It's very... I've never seen, like, paper on a roll like this before that's tissue. But it's real cute. It's very... Let's see if I can get it right way here. It's very retro looking, the artwork. But let's go ahead and this is kind of what the more what I do when I do my nature journal. Sorry if that was really loud, I'm so sorry. 
Um, I just kind of put some stuff down underneath and then build up on top. So let's go ahead and do that. And especially if you have the blank page syndrome where you're like, oh my gosh, this thing, this whole book or journal is blank and I don't know what to do with it. We can just go ahead. I'm going to do it this way. I know this one tree is going to be upside down, but otherwise the bird and the other tree will be upside down. So I'm just going to tear this here. This is like a little country looking thing. Um, page so I'm going to go ahead and, and glue this down and then you know later on when I work on it I can go ahead and cover you know come cover some of it up you can use paint you can use ink paper you know napkins whatever makes a great background so let's maybe let's just do that with this journal from this time this isn't how I've done my last journals I literally did them page by page you know and left everything else blank but I love this way of doing things because I've done it in my my nature journal and I really love working in that one it's so fun and maybe that's why because there's less stress because there's already something on the page um, and you don't have to do every page, but just maybe some pages just to give you a jumping off point when you've got a new journal. And guys, you know, you don't have to have a fancy junk journal. I mean, you can even do this with a composition book, you know, a regular composition book. The only thing I would say with those is if you think you might be using paint on it at some time, then you're going to want to... Um, maybe glue the pages together, uh, two pages together, um, and then work from the front to the back, front to the back. I mean, you can work a couple pages in the front and a couple from the back, but if, on a composition book, if you work all the way uh, one direction, it's going to bend the spine terribly, and you're never going to get it back again. Now, this is just a receipt here from a bookshop, a used book, bookshop in uh, Fredericksburg. And I bought a book about native trees and one about native shrubs because if you don't know, if you haven't seen any of my video, maybe I don't know how much I've actually mentioned it. You might not know that um, I'm getting into foraging, uh, foraging plants for food. And uh, I really want to study um, foraging plants for medicinal purposes. And I took a class in July and up in, by the cabin. And that one was basically leaves and berries and flowers, because that was in July, so those things were all plentiful. I should have done this first. I always get glue everywhere. But um, so um, this coming weekend, I'm going to be doing one on, and I'm just, I'm, you can't see, but I'm just sorting through this bin here, just kind of put, pulling stuff out here. What is this? Oh, okay, this can go on there. This is a, uh, well, no, we're not going to put that down. Okay, now I've got this bag of goodies that was sent to me, a whole bunch of little goodies that were sent to me. And I think what I'm going to do is use the bag and put that on a page. Um, anyway, so this weekend I am going to be going to the foraging class and I'm going to be um, doing nuts, berries, and seeds. Learning nuts, berries, and seeds this time because it's the fall, so those things are uh, in season. Uh, I kind of, let's see, I kind of like those ladies. Let's just, just cut it, Helen. It's a paper bag, right? It's a paper bag. We can do this. All right. And I, I'm not, um, when I sell my junk journals at shows, I have a little sign that I made. And it says, junk journals, um, scrapbooking for the rest of us because... I'm not a perfectionist, and I know I I love to see people scrapbooks where they've done the beautiful pages and their work is just so gorgeous and everything, but that's not what I'm trying to get out of when I do my junk journaling. First of all, it's not photos. Like I said, it's just other stuff. I can save this and, and use this maybe somewhere else in the journal. It's not, I'm not saving precious photos, you know, and I don't want it to be like that. I just want to have fun. 
making a mess, but keeping some mementos. And like I, I have in my other junk journal, the one I just finished that I hopefully will put the video up, um, that one, some of the pages are just like art pages. I don't have any mementos on them. I've just stuck things I liked, uh, like stickers and, you know, stuff like that in there. Okay, so that's a good page there. So see what I'm doing? I'm just doing that now here. Okay, good. Okay, just for instance. Okay, so this is all about fashion. Well, this part is here. This wrapper here is from Sugar and Cream. It is a, this particular one was a... 100% cotton uh, cotton y yarn for crochet because the first thing, well, the only thing I learned to crochet so far has been um, uh, washcloths, like like for dishes, and um, this was from that that yarn, the first yarn I ever bought to crochet, and I must say. I haven't crocheted, honestly, I haven't crocheted for quite a while. I did a little bit last Tuesday. I did a little bit while we were Zoom. I was on a Zoom meeting because I didn't need to, you know, pay 100% attention. Um, but I haven't been practicing it, and so I'm not getting any better. And it's my own fault because I'm not practicing it. But that being said, it's also leading me to believe that maybe crochet is not something I need to be doing. Um, I, I wanted to do it, and um, I really would like to learn how to do a granny stitch, which one of my friends is like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you need to learn how to do that. Okay, and now this, I cut this out of a book about old um, embroideries and stuff. And so that this is just a piece of like an old a picture of an old embroidery. See, there was like the pattern on the back, and that might go on here too. Even though it has nothing to do with crochet or fashion, I think it might look good on there. So I'm just going to stick it on there. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm not I'm not sure about the crochet. Not not real sold on it yet. But the other thing, one of the reasons I have not practiced a lot is because. I am in full gear right now um, making stuff for my upcoming shows. And so um, I haven't had a ton of extra time because even in the evening when I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm working on ephemera packs and stuff like that that I, that I take to my shows. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now. And then, you know, when I go through my bin, I might find something that, that I want to stick on there, you know, whatever. So I'm just looking for some pages that that I might stick something on. Let me see what is in this bin here that these goodies that were sent to me. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. Love never fails. All right, I'm gonna pull that out. This is this is some kitty paper I have that's really I love it. Oh, this is cute. Look at these birds here. Isn't that nice? These are all beautiful. And look, Dream. These are all beautiful note papers. Um, and I love, I love these note. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? This got, oh, and I love this one too. Oh my gosh, look at this one here. Can you see that? Why am I holding it like that? There. All right, Helen, stop. Just stop. And I've got like a receipt here. Okay, all right, stop. Just let's use some of these. So these are just no, you know, note papers from no pretty little notepads and stuff. But I think it might be pretty to just adhere. Look, I mean that looks perfect on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. I think I'll make some more videos working with junk journals. Not that you all don't know how to work on a junk journal or necessarily that I'm just so fascinating that you need to see me work on one. But I do like to have somebody, like I like to work on my junk journals when I'm watching someone else work on their junk journals. Or I like to watch a junk journal video, you know, someone else working on their junk journal. And then that inspires me to go work on mine. So I hope that, you know, this is inspiring you to work on your junk journal or if you don't have one to even you know find something that you can use as a junk journal that's so pretty I love that paper now look at this one this would go very well with it with this the pinks are kind of the same 
I know what I'm going to do. It says down here, love never fails, which is from 1 Corinthians 13, 8. Um, but it's not going to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it down to here because I know this will fit. And then we're going to put this scripture up back up at the top where we can see it. Oh no, was this two pieces? Oh, this was two pieces. I just cut them the same size. Helen, oh well, they're not going to be wasted. They are both going to be used. So, all right. Oh, you know what? Now I'm thinking about what it would what it would have been cool is to just glue them together on four, three sides and make them the two pieces of paper into a pocket because they're the same shape. All right, next time. All right, so I'm just going to do that. And I know that the camera. Well, I'll see. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. However, this paper is so thin you can kind of see the text coming through down here which is really cool I have no idea what this that book was about it's about cleaning it's oh it's an old vintage daily care of your living room weekly care of your living room how about like yearly care of your living room I have to I have to get on that by the way I have to do some cleaning tomorrow Life happens and then you kind of forget and you're like, oops, it's like I said dust that my finger just went through. So here's this Love Never Fails. I'm going to trim it down a little bit because it's a little bit too wide. And maybe we'll just put this back on the top here. Like right there. Perfect. Why not? All right, so let me move this other one I cut out of the way. All right, and we're going to put this down. There, love never fails. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and find something else. Okay, this maybe this page here needs something. Now I love this one too. Look at this one with the notes, and it's cut out so beautifully. Although I'm thinking, possibly on this one, I am going to actually just cut those things out. Let's use. Let's use this one that says dream. That actually fits perfectly there. So let me just figure out how long I need it. It actually just fits perfect. So down to this line here. I don't know who the artist of this is, but I like, I like this style. It's kind of a little bit like Susan Branch. Uh, if you know who she is, she does uh, calendars and cookbooks and stuff. I mean, she does artwork, but a lot of times it's featured in calendars and cookbooks and stuff okay so let's go ahead and put this on and see she's just a picture from a uh, 1960s knitting or 50s even knitting book like a knitting pattern book that's something that um, I love to use is is old pattern books for knitting crocheting um, they have great pictures sometimes okay all right, so let's get this on here. This is going to be a tight fit, so I need to be careful to get it on so it's not hanging over the edge. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay, that's perfect. I love that. Okay, all right. So see, this is all I'm doing. Going through, let's find some stuff. This is a cool coloring page right here. One of my friends is was a one of the things she taught at high, in high school was uh, fashion design, and so she had the, a bunch of those and she gave them to me. Okay, so let's I'll show you. Let's let's see what time I'm I'm at 19. I don't have a whole lot of time. Okay, we're just going to do one more thing, not on the inside, but we'll do it on the outside. One of the things I love on my junk journal is to have things dangling from the side, like charms and stuff hanging off the side. This is from Bubbly, the Bubbly uh, seltzer water, and it says, hey you, on it. And I never realized that before, that it said that. Um, I actually usually buy Aldi's brand, uh, which is called V, V-I-E, but they haven't had it lately. And so um, I got uh, the, bub the uh, bubbly brand. 
this is really sharp here, but I think it will be okay. All right, so what I have here, this black and white, this is wool. This is black and white wool that came off a black and white sheep. My, um, the last time I was up at the cabin, my husband and a friend of, uh, and, our, uh, and I went to a 18th century arts little uh, craft fair thing, and a woman was actually spinning wool from you know, a clump of wool using a spinning, but I've never seen anyone do it before. And she, um, she had gave everybody a little piece of this black and white wool. And it's called, when you use it like this, ebony and ivory. And so, um, she tied them around our wrist. She made little bracelets for us. So, okay, so there's my little hey you. And this is the first little dangly thing that's going to be hanging off my journal. All right. So guys, get anything you can to make a little junk journal if you don't have one. If you've already got one, um, get it out and play with it. Have some fun. And like I said, I hope to do some more videos where we do some junk journaling together. Uh, if not, just to inspire you, just so that you can have someone working alongside you. It's like a little virtual mini crop when we junk journal together, right? Okay, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.